Is SoundClick MySpace good for producers? And there's other sites too. You got Rock Battle, etc. But I'm gonna use SoundClick as a as a big place where a lot of producers sell their beats. And um, I did a video before. This is kind of like an update version to to that video. Um, I've seen other videos people talking about SoundClick. Um, one guy recommends that you start off exclusively on SoundClick. I did that too. Um, and then once you become big or got major artists um, buying beats from you, then you go to your own page. I disagree. I disagree because it destroys one of the biggest business points. I mean, it, it destroys it. And that is branding. When you exclusively sell your beats on SoundClick, it destroys your brand. Think about it. Somebody goes to SoundClick, they find your page, they buy a beat or maybe download it for free. Either one, they get a beat, right? So let's say they record a song to it, they play it to somebody, the song, they be like, yo, where did you get that beat from? You know what they're going to say? SoundClick. Now, you can put your little tag in there or whatever. So what? But when they ask them where you get that beat from, they're going to say SoundClick. They're not even going to take the time to even say, hey, so-and-so. Now, some people might. They might say so-and-so producer, you know, made the beat. I found them on SoundClick. They're still going to throw SoundClick in there. You take on the SoundClick brand, which means you're promoting SoundClick. If you had your own website, like I do, you could say BigGrime.net. That's where I got the beat from. Now, I still remember SoundClick. Um, I sometimes upload beats to it. I still have some. I have beats on there. But for real, you go to my page, SoundClick.com backslash BigGrime. Um, you know off the gate, I don't want you to stay on SoundClick. I want you to go to my real page because I'm going to brand myself. Just like I had, I had, you know, made myself a logo. Starting to put my logo on everything. I'm going to make me a t-shirt with my logo on there. I'm going to wear it for the rest of the time I do my videos. Um, put my logo on all my videos. I'm going to put my logo on everything because I want that to be the, the cover to my brand. Like for instance, McDonald's. Um, I could just give you a, a flyer with the golden arches on there. You know exactly what the hell that is. You'll think of a lot of things. You'll think about, you know, uh, burgers, milkshakes, whatever, Big Macs. You'll think about all these things just based off that logo because they have built their name behind that logo. That's what you want to be able to do. Like, for instance, one time um, I had managed artists and had a small label and I had a logo and I used to go to music conferences. A lot of people would put their flyers on the tables because you'd be inside of a club and they'd put the flyers on the table and everybody had you know full color flyers a lot of them had half naked girls on there and everything and they all looked the same. Well mine, mine on one side had a green background the logo in the middle and then on the other side I had all my information you know for my artists or for my beats or whatever. So I place it down on a table with the logo showing, just a plain green black background with my logo. So when people go to the table, mine instantly, instantly stands out. You can actually see my flyer from a distance just because it, it, it stood out. Just a plain background stood out with my logo and a lot of people, they okay, that's the first thing they think about when they see my brand. So I want my logo to represent my brand. When you use SoundClick, all these other websites, exclusively, you lose that brand. And that is major. I don't care if you're just starting out. That is major. You can't deny that. Um, that why do you think uh, um, Geico, they use the gecko. They use characters. Because they, they, want, they want to attach that brand to something. So, hey, if you just throw the gecko off somewhere, you know exactly what it is. All the major companies do it. All the smart people use it. And producers need to start thinking about that. SoundClick is good. It's good to get customers. But you want them to leave your SoundClick page to go to your main page. 
you can put more stuff on there. It's less clutter. You can put more things on there. You can really express yourself um, and all that. I really wasn't a big supporter of buying the uh, upgrade to the SoundClick pages because, again, like I said on my first video, it's like, what, $10 when you can go and get your own website for $10 a month. Your own site, your own don 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 donate main name and everything for ten bucks. So I don't know. I, I really believe that you know that's one of my major reasons why I say you should get your own site, use SoundClick, but don't make don't make it exclusively. You know, and it's not that expensive. Ten dollars a month is not that expensive to have your own website. So you can get your own website at BigGrime.net. You go to BigGround.net. I'm gonna have a section where you can get your um, your website, and don't worry about designing a website. It's easy. It's mad easy. You don't need to know, know a lot of coding and everything. It's just um, to me, it's ridiculous not to have your own website. All right, peace.